Hello friends, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to learn Convo Effect. Convo Effect is the phenomenon associated with the first come first serve algorithm in which the whole operating system slows down due to few slow processes. These shorter jobs has to wait for a long time because of this longer job. Why FCFS causes convo effect? FCFS algorithm is non-preemptive in nature. That is, once CPU time has been allocated to a process, other processes can get CPU time only after the current process has finished. This property of FCFS scheduling leads to the situation called convo effect. Example. Suppose there is one CPU intensive large first time process in the ready queue and several other processes with relatively less burst times but are input output bound that is they need input output operations frequently. The following then takes place. The input output bound processes are first allocated CPU time as they are less CPU intensive, they quickly get executed and then go to input output queues. Now the CPU intensive process is allocated CPU time. As its burst time is high, it takes time to complete. While the CPU intensive process is being executed, the input output bond processes complete their input output operations and are moved back to the ready queues. However, the input output processes are made to wait as the CPU intensive process still has not finished. This leads to input output devices being idle. When the CPU intensive process gets over, it is sent to the input output queues so that it can access input-output devices. Meanwhile, the input-output bound processes gets their required CPU time and move back to input-output queues. However, they are made to wait because the CPU intensive process is still accessing an input-output device. As a result, the CPU is sitting idle now. Hence, in convo effect, one slow process slows down the performance of the entire set of processes and leads to wastage of CPU time and other devices. To avoid convo effect, preemptive scheduling algorithms like round robin scheduling can be used. As the smaller processes don't have to wait much for CPU time making their execution faster and leading to less resources sitting idle. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like this. Please leave us your likes and comments.